Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I'm going to teach you something very unique and very special which normally any drones do not support. In this video guys, I'm going to tell you how to install an OLED screen onto your drone frame so as to be able to get some of the statistics right displayed here on your OLED screen which is going to be attached onto your drone frame whenever you power this up. So this is going to be something very unique guys. So ensure that guys, you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos let's get started so guys before we can start with the installation of this OLED screen onto the drone guys let me walk you through what this LCD is what are the specifications and the pin diagram guys as you can see guys this is a 0.96 inch monocolor OLED screen guys it is uh, 128 by 64 is the resolution of the screen guys this OLED screen will be connected to your drone using the ports that it has on the top so here guys you can see it has a port called ground and VCC so it will be powered up using the 5 volt and ground guys and then you have SCL and SDA so these is the serial port guys so CL and DA port on your flight controller guys so any I2C port on your flight controller guys will be able to support this OLED to be connected. Ensure that guys your firmware supports the OLED screen guys. As you know guys I'm going to use my flight controller Matexis F765 WSE which has two I2C port guys. One of them I2C port 1 supports the OLED screen which you can see in the data sheet as shown on the website or on the screen here guys you can see it supports on I2C port 1 you can connect an OLED screen guys with the OLED screen guys whenever you power up your drone you will be able to see the basic functions and some of the basic parameters which are available on this screen guys which can be very useful without connecting your drone onto the PC or without referring to the RC control guys you will be able to see all those parameters right here on the screen guys so which is why i'm going to add this screen onto my flight controller here on the screen guys you can see this is how i'm going to connect my oled screen onto my flight controller depending upon the specifications so guys once you are able to connect this oled screen onto your flight controller as per the wiring diagram then you will need to enable this OLED screen support in your firmware here on the screen as you can see guys under the INF in the configuration tab you will have to enable the OLED support once you enable automatically your screen will light up and you will be able to see all those parameters right here on the screen if you have connected your OLED screen correctly. So here you can see guys on this OLED screen I have already connected these wires so let me walk you through the color coding that I have on the wire so that at the time of connection you understand what I am connecting. So here on this guys the black wire is the ground, the red wire is for VCC and then you have orange wire for SCK and the blue wire for your SDA. So SCK and SDA is going to be connected onto I2C port 1 and then I will be able to power it using VCC ground which is red and black. Now let's quickly connect it onto my flight controller. So guys here on the flight controller you can see I have DA1 and CL1. So SDA and SCK is going to be connected here respectively. SD1 is where I have connected the white wire of my compass and the green wire of my compass is connected here on my SCK pin guys. So that is where I am going to double the wires and then here I have a 5 volt and ground for air sensor guys since I do not have air sensor on board on my quadcopter guys so I can use this 5 volt and ground to power my LCD. So let's quickly connect those wires here. So guys now let's quickly connect this. So the orange one goes to the green one and DA1 and the white one is going to be the blue one. So let's quickly connect the orange first. The green and orange goes together onto this pin. So they are connected. Now let's connect the blue and white together. So here it goes guys. I was able to connect the wires here. Your purple to DA and 
orange to CL. Now let's quickly connect the power cables as well. So five volt and ground, let's quickly tin that pads first and then we will be able to connect. So five volt is here. And ground is here. So I was able to tin it guys. Now let's quickly connect. So let's first connect the ground. So ground is here like this. So the ground is connected guys. Now let's connect the power supply like this. So this is it guys. This is how I have completed the connection of my LCD. Now let's quickly mount this LCD onto my drone frame. Now guys, since we have soldered, let's quickly install this LCD onto the drone frame guys. Here you can see onto the side of my camera guys, I have a place where I'm going to install my LCD just like this. By pushing it like this, it, it is just of the right height so as to be able to hold this LCD guys. I am going to stick this using the DST. So let's quickly do that. And that DST will also prevent this uh, wires to get short circuited. So this is also something really nice guys. So let's quickly do this. So I'll put the DST like this onto the top. Now let's remove the other side and peel it off. So like this, now let's quickly stick this onto the sides, gently push in the wire and hold it like this. So this will hold the LCD onto the sides guys, like this. As you can see, my LCD is now properly installed onto the sides. Now let's quickly close this and boot this up to see if it is working. So here you can see guys, on this LCD you can see the status, voltage, milliampers, and then how many satellites it has got, if it has got the fix or not, longitude, latitude, altitude. So this is it guys, this is how you install the LCD onto your flight controller. So this concludes this tutorial guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.